very good morning dear students welcome to all of you to today's class but before starting the class let's do brahmanath So now let's start the class. So dear students, welcome to all of you to today's class. In today's class, we are going to discuss part two of the chapter Portrait of a Teacher. In the previous class, we have discussed part one. But before studying part two, let's focus on few points of part one. In the previous class, I have told you that the writer and the writer's father they were sitting and gossiping suddenly the writer's father gave out a cry why because he was reading the evening newspaper and there was an excellent piece of article in that newspaper and what's that that news report was focusing on his first teacher mr crossett okay and the writer's father was thinking that his teacher had been died but in reality he is alive and he got a medal for completing his 60 years of teaching career. So as the writer's father's teacher was living in Delville, it was the sincere wish of his father to go there to say hello to his old teacher. And on the very day, the writer's father and the writer didn't discuss anything in particular, but the complete focus was on the teacher. And the narrator's father was also speaking that how he started the class in third grade only. And he was quite afraid <coughs> to go to school but Mr. Crossett was the man who was teaching the third grade student means third standard student and he was able to understand the situation perfectly so all these things were being discussed so in the next Saturday they went to Delphi and it was not at all difficult on the part of the writer and his father to find out his home because he was a renowned person there and when they reached there, an old man opened the door. They just banged on the door, an old man opened. Then the writer's father, out of curiosity, is speaking. Will you permit one of your old people to shake hands with you? Then the teacher was confused. He was unable to recall. Then he said, the writer's father said his name, year, and the name of the school where he was reading. And then the teacher, he just bent his head down, started murmuring. Albert Borden. Albert Borden was the name of? The writer's father, Albert Borden, Albert Borden, and suddenly he just raised up and said, Albert Borden, your father was an engineer and you're living very close to the school. And when the writer heard it, his heart was filled with deep respect for the teacher. Now he did understand why his father was too curious to meet, to visit this old teacher. Understood? And the writer was also expecting that he would have the same amount of memory that this old teacher is having at this age because he was 84 years old okay so now start part two later my father and mr crossett talked for a half hour about persons and okay let me tell you one thing in your book you just see gap one gap two gap three gap four gap five is mentioned in the very next page a b c d e five paragraphs are there and you need to match means you need to fill appropriate paragraph in the appropriate gap okay so later my father and mr crossett talked for a half hour about persons and thing they remembered of the school the old man shook hands shook constantly so then the writer's father and the teacher they talked about various things on school etc etc about the students about the teachers everything that they discussed then the teacher told that his hands were shaking constantly and he explained to my father how this shaking hand began two years ago and how only on this on account of this he had been forced to give up his teaching lesson the writer's father is gossiping to the teacher regarding various things then in the meantime mr crossett the teacher okay so the teacher's name is Mr. Crossett. Mr. Crossett is the teacher. He told 
how his hands are shaking constantly and this is because of the shaking of hand he was forced to give up teaching means he didn't give up teaching according to his own desire he was forced to do it because he was unable to write down properly otherwise he would still be working because his heart and soul was still in the room in the school room with his various student otherwise here the teacher is expressing in sorrow that because of this shaking of hand i am forced to give up teaching otherwise my heart and soul is remaining with the student in my classroom think what might be the condition what might what is the thinking of the teacher then gap one for gap one now once again my father referred to his first day then the writer's father is focusing on the first day of his school he told of an incident that he had never forgotten always sitting quietly waiting for the class to begin so the first day is being described here and the writer's father is speaking that all is sitting in the classroom and the class has to begin then gap one paragraph number d is appropriate occasionally one of the students of the previous year would put his head in the door to say hello to mr trossich they all spoke to him in such a manner as to suggest that they were very fond of him others came in and shook his hand he remained very serious listen all the class they were sitting silently for the beginning of the class when mr trossich was remaining in the classroom sometimes old students mean senior students were coming and knocking the door and speaking him hello and some others were coming and shaking hands with mr crossett and they were doing it too lovingly ajib they were very fond of mr crossett and it was a fact also later the class began and in the course of the lesson he noticed that one of the students looked sick and fabulous he walked to the student's desk and put his hand on the child's head then the class began in the meantime he noticed that one of the student is looking sick as if he is suffering from fever so he went near the desk of the child and put his head put his hand on the child's head then what it happened then gap 2 is mentioned paragraph number b is appropriate while his back was turned so look whenever i am speaking you i am standing like this if i start right down i will be back to you so likewise when the teacher went to the last line to meet the student his back was there and student he was unable to see the students then what did happen while his back was torn and the student in the class got up stood up on his desk and began to make faces just in order to make the other students laugh and what did one of the student do just like some of you must have done it so no you are good students don't worry so one of the student got up stood on the bench and started making mm, various faces so that other students will make fun of it will start laughing mr cross had turned rapid rapidly and glared at the student and mr cross was able to know what has happened so he suddenly turned and glared at the student means he looked constantly with big eyes towards the student then gap 3 is mentioned for gap 3 write down paragraph number e okay don't do that again he said a class quickly but quietly but firmly then he went back to his desk and went on with the lesson then mr cross said suddenly he was standing like this he turned and said don't do that again who said mr cross said strongly firmly he did speak after a while he put down his book looked at us in silence for several minutes then said then after some time he just closed the book put the book on the table and started looking at the students okay and said my friends we have to spend this year together and we must try to spend it together happily please study and try to be good students then what is mr cross is speaking he was just speaking like a friend he was speaking my dear student this year you and i we are going to spend this year together so you just study hard be a good human being and try to be good student i have no family you are my family who is speaking mr cross is speaking to the student i have no family you are my family think what might be the impression 
what might the feelings of the teacher when he is speaking i have no family you are my family means he considers the students as his family members last year i had my mother but she has died and i am alone then he is speaking last year i had my mother but she died i am all alone you are the only thing i have in this world again he is speaking i have nothing you are the only thing that i have in this world who is speaking mr crossed is speaking to the class and you occupy all my thoughts and you have all my affection understood mr crossed is speaking i have no family my mother died there is no one of mine in this world you are my family so you have occupied my thoughts my love my affection everything is for you only who is speaking mr crossed is speaking mr crossed what speaking in the classroom i consider you as my children and i think that you are my children i hope that i will therefore not have to punish you but you must prove to me that you appreciate my interest and my attention take the example whenever you are committing some mistake your parents are not punishing you always correct or not because you are their kids you are their world they have nothing except you likewise the teacher is speaking you are like my children you are not like my children you are my children i think this and i don't want to punish you because a child must not be punished by the parents and but you have to prove it that you are worthy to be my kid and you should appreciate and you should think you should appreciate my interest as well as attention i don't want you simply to promise me with your words that you will be good but i want you to show me with your hearts that here we are all part of one big family i want to be proud of you okay so the teacher is speaking i don't want you to promise me that as yes, so we we will be good in the future no you just try to speak it with all your heart with all your feelings okay always remember there are three persons in this world at any cost they will never ever think ill of you they are your father mother your parents and your teacher so here the teacher is also speaking the same thing that don't promise with your words only but show me with your hearts that you will be good human beings you will be good because i want to feel proud of you correct if in the future you are also going to be well settled i also will feel proud of you 100% correct sometimes my teachers are also feeling proud of me so i also want to feel proud of you so here the teacher spoke the same thing that i want to feel proud of you then gap four is mentioned at this moment the bell rang announcing the end of class then the bell sound was audible class was over then gap four paragraph number a is appropriate one by one we got up from our seats and left the room quietly the boy who had gotten up on his steel seat and made faces our went up to mr crossed desk and with his boy scrambling said i am sorry sir when the bell rang all the student they got up one by one they left the room except the single boy who had who had made faces he went to mr crossed and said i am sorry sir in this manner they were also speaking mr crossed patted him affectionately on the head and said then mr crossed just patted him on the head don't think any more about it my son here we are all good friends and you speaking my son don't think it or don't think on all these things we are friends we all sat quietly for a few moments after my father finished the story then his father was speaking the story in the meantime all were silent for some time then mr crossett rose past tense of rice is rose not the flower okay it's not the flower it's the past tense of rice rose and did something which left me entirely speechless then mr crossett got up mr crossett did something for which 
the writers the writer was speechless okay he went to a client of closet closet means uh, a self means a room a self self where a number of books things are being stored just like the store room closet and after a moment brought out a package properly marked and cataloged by name and date <coughs> he just went went inside the room went to the closet brought a parcel it was cataloged and marked with name and date then gave five is mentioned out of the package I drew a paper and gave it to my father out of the package he just drew a paper and did give it to the writer's father it was marked with my father's name and with the month and the year and it was one of my father's own copy book exercise what was there in the paper there was the name there is the date properly marked and it was one of the page from the writer's cop writer's father's copy book okay mr crossett does keep a record of all his students so likewise he was keeping the record of his students my father read the exercise and the writer's father read the exercise and tears came to his eyes and when the writer's father read it there was tear in his eyes because on the paper was also the handwriting of his mother exactly in the manner in which he used to help him at first with the his exercises so here when the writer's father read the piece of paper which was being brought by mr crossage tear rolled down from his eyes why because in the paper there was the handwriting of the writer's grandmother okay means writer's father's mother handwriting was there and in the same way she used to help her son during the initial time when he was going to school for the first time during the initial days or month she used to help her kid to do the homework so likewise mr crossett was having a record of its student okay so what did you understand try to understand it there mr cross was speaking that you are my words you are my family you have occupied my thoughts you have all my affection likewise every teacher is also speaking the same thing students are the precious things for the teacher so here always remember try to be good and what the writer is expecting look previously the writer was unable to understand why his father was so curious to meet the teacher but when he get to know all these things he started admiring he started respecting the old teacher okay understood read it any doubt you have you just ask me okay so finally thank you have a nice time